It's a 70 Cuda convertible with a shaker hood scoop. What's under the hood? There were three levels of Plymouth Barracuda offered in the new 1970 model lineup, including the base model Barracuda, the fancy Grand Coupe, and the sporty Cuda version, as seen here. The hood of this super clean 1970 Cuda convertible is interrupted by a highly technical piece of equipment that Plymouth called an IQECAG, or the Incredible Quivering Exposed Cold Air Grabber. Of course, we know it as a shaker hood scoop, and it is fixed directly to the 440 cubic inch V8, so it shakes and quakes when you floor the gas pedal. At least, that's how Plymouth described it back in 1970. A 1970 Cuda convertible with a 426 Hemi is about as good as it gets for muscle cars, but if you show up with one of these with a 446 barrel under the hood, you're still gonna cause quite a stir. And this one is a great example of one of these rare, elusive, and fast muscle cars. The 426 Hemi cars steal the spotlight, but when it comes to real-world performance and drivability, it's hard to beat the 440. The six-barrel cars breathe through three Holley carburetors, which add some complexity, but the 440 is a rock-solid performer that was often faster than the Hemi on the street. The six-barrel 440 is a high-compression 10.5 to 1 engine, resulting in 390 horsepower at 4,700 RPM and 490 foot-pounds of torque at 3,200 RPM. Plymouth engineers upgraded the suspension on the Cudas, including heavier-duty front torsion and sway bars taken from the larger mid-size car parts bin. They also hopped up the rear suspension in an interesting manner. The rear suspension featured five full and two half-leaf springs on the passenger side and a full six leaves on the driver's side. The interesting setup helped the car plant the tires equally and remain flat on hard launches. And this is where the convertible is at a disadvantage with no roof structure for support. The rear axle is a 9 and 3 quarter inch Dana 60 and the 3 54 to 1 gear ratio and limited slip differential provide a good mix of off the line and cruising down the road performance. The Cuda rolls on stylish 14 by 6 inch rally wheels, but bias ply Goodyear polyglass tires, while correct for the car, are easily overpowered by the 440. You don't see very many of these 1970 Cuda convertibles powered by the 446 barrel because they didn't make very many of them. All added up, there were 12 446 barrel Cuda convertibles built with an automatic transmission, and just 17 came with the heavy duty four speed manual gearbox like our example here. It's not quite as rare as the Hemi cars, but anytime you have an extremely low production car that has awesome power, stunning good looks, and a folding top, well, you've got a winner. A warm tan vinyl interior contrasts the stark alpine white exterior. Of course, the vinyl gets a little warmer once the manually operated convertible top is retracted and booted up out of the way. The dash brims with gauges, including a 150 mile an hour speedometer, a big eight grand tack, and an AM radio. A classic pistol grip shifter stirs the four speed transmission, but not through a console. And the lack of the console, the manual top, and crank windows suggest the original buyer put all the money under the hood in favor of spending it on luxury items. Do you think you could leave your local new car dealership in a one of 17 car today? Yeah, good luck with that. But these elusive rides live here in the Brothers Collection, and we're glad to share them with you every week on Muscle Car of the Week. See you next time.